بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شروع الله کا نام لے کر جو بڑا مہربان نہایت رحم والا ہے Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen This is Khalid Hamza Anjum of class 10 with you for the further proceedings You can see the college band marching in Khalid Anish leads the college band He is the band commander Band even the two deaf commanders Khalid Azaz and Khalid Adil The bass drummers are Ala Sharyar and Ali Kabir Ladies and gentlemen They are none other than our junior Khalids Bad represent Shaukat Hussain and Taj Muhammad Trace. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see the Chief Cadet Captain Bilawal Ali from the right. He is today's parade commander. He holds the highest appointment of the college. Along with him, from the left, the Chairman Honor Committee, Abab Zafullah. Both enter the parade ground. Now, the Chief Cadet Captain cautions the parade to march in. Step to the gate that they are bound to be the leaders. 
They are the followers of Vananda and Vandrasu. Wearing white uniform, they march in with complete coordination and perfect timing. Their white uniform represents their determination, character, and sobriety. In their veins runs the blood of Tariq bin Ziyad, Sultan Salahuddin Ayubi, and Muhammad bin Qasim. They are the next generation, the future of our nation. Distinguished guests, their immaculate turnout, determined steps, and glowing faces speak volumes of their determination and commitment. The fact that they shall rise to the highest glory and shall never leave any chance to serve their motherland with the best of their ability, even at the cost of their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, they know it well that they are to lead the nation tomorrow, following the footsteps of the heroes of this nation. Ladies and gentlemen, many of the cadets who marched here in the past are the pride of the nation. They have proved their worth in the various fields and occupied the front row in serving their motherland. They are the great military officers, renowned politicians, and prominent scholars. Moreover, they're holding the key posts of the country. Taro is really proud to contribute to our great people to its nation. Parents. You can see the four smartly clad pilots marching towards the dice to take their respective positions. Ladies and gentlemen, now the parade commander cautions the guard to march in. Proclaiming Allah, Swarov Leaders College Guard marches in. Ladies and gentlemen, the guard marches with the perfect timing of the steps. With absolute coordination, the outstanding display of the march is the outcome of the hard work and perspiring efforts put in by the cadets and our drill instructors. The instructors are Fleet Chief Petty Officer and Gun Instructor Huzurbash, Chief Petty Officer and Gun Instructor Retired Shay Mohammed, Petty Officer Khalid Amin, Petty Officer Ghulam Abbas, Petty Officer Ishtia, Petty Officer Ghulam Sarwar, Petty Officer Abdul Latif, Petty Officer Asadullah, and Petty Officer Intizam. Ladies and gentlemen, no doubt the credit of this marvelous display goes to the cadets and these naval instructors.
Chief Guest is on his way to the parade ground. Ladies and gentlemen, the buglers announced the arrival of the Honorable Chief Guest. Here today's Chief Guest, Commander Karachi, Rear Admiral Sayyid Khawar Ali, Sitare Imtiaz Military arrives. You can see the members of college riding team Scott him. The riding team members are Sayyid Vakar, Imran Abro, Zaryab, Umair, Arbab Samiullah, Salman. Captain Nematullah, Vice Captain Shani Hadar Maxi, Zishan, Asib Kaim Khani, Saifullah Khalid, Sarosh, Anas Sabdani, Akash Tewana, and Nasrullah. Ladies and gentlemen, the principal and the commandant accompanies the honorable chief guest. And now, he escorts him to the saluting dais. The God of Honor presents arm. Ladies and gentlemen, the guard commander carried Anas Nawab requests the Honorable Chief Guest to inspect the guard. The escorting pilots, Karit Abdullah Tahir and Karit Raza Shah, escort him to the ranks. Ladies and gentlemen, the inspection of God is in progress. It is really a day of jubilation for the Caddis standing before such a distinguished gathering. Today, their hearts are overjoyed and their heads are high with pride and prestige. The reflection of their happiness could easily be observed even from a distance, as they also feel proud to see a leading personality of the country around them. It would be a day to remember for all the God and parade as well.
The inspection of guard is over. Ladies and gentlemen, now the commandant and principal introduce the honorable chief guest to the teaching and naval staff. Introduction to the teaching and naval staff is over. The principal escorts the honorable chief guest to his seat. Now a junior carries release balloons as a mark of reverence and at the same time as an expression of love and affection. Now, Kareem Sayyid Hamad Ali Shah of class 12 will recite few verses from Holy Quran. As a meritorious student of this college, he is the member of football athletics team. Ladies and gentlemen, Cadet Hamad.
Translation In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the merciful, thy Lord had decreed that ye worship none save him and that ye show kindness to parents. If one of them or both of them attain old age with thee, say not fie unto them, nor repulse them, but speak unto them a gracious word and lower unto them the wings of submission through mercy and pray. O my Lord, have mercy on them both as they did care for me when I was little. Tarjuma, Shuru Allah ke naam se, jo bada meherban, nihayat rahem karne wala hai. Aur tere rab ne hukum farma diya, ke uske siwa kisi aur ki ibadat na karo, aur maa baap se husne suluk karo, aur unme se ek, या वो दोनों तेरे सामने बुढ़ापे को पहुंच जाएं तो उन्हें उफ तक भी ना कहो और न उन्हें झिड़को और उनसे अदब के साथ बात करो और उनके लिए आजी के साथ बाजू झुका दो मेहरबानी से और कहो ए मेरे रब इन दोनों पर रहम फरमा जैसे इन्होंने बचपन में मेरी परवरिश की Ladies and gentlemen, now the Commandant and Principal, Cadet College Pitaro, Commodore Mohammed Astam Rana welcomes the Honorable Chief Guest and the parents and presents the annual report. Ladies and gentlemen, the Principal. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ashaab Sayyidina Muhammadin wa barik wa sallim. Honorable Rear Admiral Sayyid Khawar Ali, Stara Imtiaz Military, Commander Karachi and Chairman Board of Governors, Cadet College Pitaro, Members of the Board of Governors, a GOC Park Camp, Major General Klim, sir, Flag Officers, Parents, Pitarians, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, and my very dear cadets, Assalamu Alaikum. I have the honor to welcome you all on the occasion of the 49th Parents' Day. We are highly grateful to the Honorable Chief Guest that he has spared some of his valuable time from his very busy schedule to witness as a chief guest of today's function. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my proud privilege to inform you all that Rear Admiral 
Sayyid Khawar Ali Star e Imtiaz Military is the proud product of this wonderful college. Sir, your presence over here today speaks of your great interest in the affairs of the college. Uh, we all are grateful to you for coming over here to your own alma mater. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all are aware that this college is the largest cadet college of Pakistan. About 900 cadets are on its role. The basic aim of this college is to prepare young cadets physically, mentally, academically and morally to be the outstanding and useful citizens of future. The college has provided trained and young cadets not only to the armed forces of Pakistan but also to other fields of national activities. Sir, now I shall present the annual report to the college for the year 2009-10. First of all, the academics. It is my prayer to report you that this year college has also produced the excellent results both in metric and intermediate annual board examination 2010. In SSC part two, sir, out of 172 cadets, 171 cadets secured A1 grade and one cadet was placed in A grade. It is pertinent to mention that 24 cadets of this college have been placed under top 10 positions in the entire Hyderabad board. I shall also inform you, sir, that Cadet Abdullah Tahir secured the first position. Second position was secured by two cadets, Cadet Mohammed Numan Sharif and Cadet Sayyid Maz Ali Shah, while Cadet Bablani, Rehan Iqbal Bablani and Cadet Sheikh Saad shared the third position in the entire Hyderabad board. Sir, in HSC part two, out of 185 cadets, 118 cadets secured A1 grade and 66 cadets were placed in A grade. This is, this is ever best result in the history of the college since 1957. Cadet M. Zia Munir secured the first position in the entire Hyderabad board in HSC part two examination and Cadet Munib secured the third position. Sir, as far as the sports are concerned, regular games are played at inter-house competition and our cadets take part at national level activities as far as the sports are concerned. This year, sir, Tenth, uh, in the 10th All Sindh Inter Cadet College Sports Championship 2010, which was held in the Steel Cadet College at Karachi, out of 16 all matches, 13 matches were won by Cadet College Pitaro. <laughs> Sir, my teaching staff gives equal weightage to the literary activities and our cadets throughout the year participate at college level and as far as national level in different competitions organized by the well-known colleges, universities, and defense academies. This year, sir, our college teams visited Army Burn Hall College, Aftabad, Government College and University, Lahore, Beria College, Anwari 1, Habib Public School, Karachi, PF Academy, Rasalpur, and Cadet College, Larkhana. It is, my, it is my proud privilege to share it with you that our college is consecutively winning the 
trophy from Beria College NORE 1 and we are holding this trophy since last two years. Our college has also won the handsome prizes in the different activities arranged by different academies and colleges. Sir, this year, by the grace of Almighty Allah, the 19th All-Pakistan Bilingual Declamation Contest was held successfully and about 22 teams from different parts of the country, they participated. Honorable Senior Minister for Education, Peer Mazrulak, was the chief guest on this important, important occasion. It has always been my priority to focus upon the spoken English of the cadets as it is the need of the hour to meet the global challenges in the world competition. Sir, we have inducted three in number teachers just to train our cadets as far as spoken English is concerned. Equal importance are being, are being given to the hobbies and clubs in order to sharpen the skills of the cadets. An exhibition reflecting the hobbies and clubs has been arranged today for the guests. National days are, sir, being celebrated at college uh, with the great interest and with the, with, the support, with the support of the Pakistan Navy, we are further improving it. Induction into the armed forces, sir, it is my proud privilege to share it with you all that, alhamdulillah, this year, 151 cadets, they have qualified the initial medical and initial test for Pakistan Navy. And 101 cadets from this badge who are standing right in front of you have qualified the initial test and medical for the Pakistan Army. However, 35 cadets now, they have joined the Pakistan Army and Navy and still the ISSB in the pipeline. I hope that inshallah we will cross more than, six, more than 60 figure uh, for Pakistan Army and Navy. In the competition, of the house represented and number Bangalore's come the quarters they have been prepared and the same will be inshallah inaugurated today the waterline scheme of the college, which was funded by government of Sindh, has been completed and it is under trials. It is my proud privilege to share it with you all that inshallah ta'ala this year all level is being introduced and, in, and inshallah the first badge for the all level in the history of the credit college uh, will commence in the month of August. 2010. It is also my proud privilege to share it with you all that inshallah ta'ala seventh class has been reintroduced in the college and it will commence from August this year. I should not forget with you all to share that His Excellency Mr. Asif Ali Zardari, the proud product of this college is keeping the keen interest in the activities of the college. Sir, he has contributed handsome amount to complete further projects in the college and those are, we are inshallah in near future uh, going to have the new setup for the riding club. In addition, a comprehensive covered sports complex 
is going to come up in the college uh, soon. The funds are available and they have been provided by His Excellency Mr. Asif Ali Zardari. I should also not forget to share it with you all that the 8th hostel with the name of Sachal Sarmast is in progress and the new auditorium of the capacity of 1200 cadets is also in progress. About 60% 60, about 60 of the job on this new auditorium has been completed. Ladies and gentlemen, it is also my proud privilege to share it with you all that latest library is also under construction and the block for the O-level is also in, under construction which are hoped to be completed, inshallah, in the end of June this year. Sir, in the end, I should not forget the wonderful support given to me and to my cadets from Major General Kaleem, sir, who is in our neighbor. I should also not forget the contributions and support rendered by Petarian Association Petarian Foundation, the, uh, the Hyderabad Police, Hasco, and Park Rangers. They are always at our support whenever we call them. Ladies and gentlemen, in the end, I should once again uh, pay my special thanks to Rear Admiral Sayyid Khawar Ali, the proud product of this college, on behalf of my teaching staff, my cadets, and the honorable parents. Sir, thank you very much for sparing your time and joining today's function. Ladies and gentlemen, in the end, I should not forget to pay my special thanks to Professor Ghani sir, who was my teacher and the teacher of Rear Admiral Sayyid Khawar Ali. We all are grateful to you, sir, for sparing your valuable time and coming from Faisalabad to your own college on today's very special occasion. I am grateful to all of you, and I should also not forget to introduce you one of the most professional officer, Commodore Afzal, who is going to, inshallah, take over this college in the near future. He is one of the very professional officers of Pakistan Navy. He has served in Pakistan Navy in different billets, and in this college, he has also performed the duties of adjutant. Ladies and gentlemen and, and respectable parents, I am sure that my alma mater is going to pro progress in much better way under the dynamic and professional command of Commodore Afzal. In the end, Pitarians, Cadet College Pitaro, Zindabad, Pakistan, always find the bath, find the bath, find the bath. Ladies and gentlemen, with this commandant and principal presents the traditional gifts and college crest to the honorable chief guest on behalf of the carriage and the staff as a mark of reverence for him. Ladies and gentlemen, the principal and the commandant present the traditional gifts. And now, the parade commander cautions the proficiency banner party to move. And with this, Cadet Haknawaz of class 12 cautions the company to march forward. Ladies and gentlemen, the holder of the proficiency banner is Cadet Avais of class 12. He scored in his 7.5% marks in the SSC part 2 examination and in his 3% marks in SSC part 1 examination. This year, he has represented the Cadet College Pitaro in Government College University in Lahore. He's an active member of College Debating Society. With your mother, Rafa Scott, Kate Mashad of class 11, 
and Kair Makhdoom Shah of Class 11. Kair Bilal leads the party. Ladies and gentlemen, this year Cosmians are the champions. The Honorable Chief Guest presents the Proficiency Banner. The Guard of Honor presents Arm. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see the proficiency when a party turns around and now moves towards this position. Now Kader Taul Arbani holds the proficiency banner. He scored 90% marks in his SSC Part 2 examination and 83% mark in SSC Part 1 examination.